Hi guys, welcome back. I hope your weekend was great. I spent the weekend mostly working on the website and this picture. Um, today I want to go over how to do a fairy wing. And I know it seems very simple, but I have a way of doing it that I just wanted to show you. The paper that I'm using is very poor quality paper. It's a Creative Haven book. The art is so cute. If you buy Creative Haven books, I have a couple of issues with their paper. First, you barely get any tooth. You really have to scrub it in and work and work and work on it. And then after, I would say your third layer, it quits. And you just get this waxy buildup. And a lot of times the, this book does create wax bloom. And that's when you've used too much wax and the pigment sort of falls down into the wax. So you get like this whitish sheen on it. This is one of the books that are infamous for waxy bloom. You wake up the next day and your details are gone. Your color is gone. So... I want to hurry up and do this before this just picture just fades out into nothingness. I did the background for you. I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more into the details, but I just, there is no more, wa you know, tooth on it for me to work on. The color palette I'm going to be working with today is electric blue, yellowed orange. Um, This is... What is that? Grayed lavender, canary yellow, neon pink, and sky blue light. Those are going to be your basic color for the wing. If this was a little bit better paper, I would have done a more translucent wing for this. But let's see how it works out. I'm going to try to get slightly translucent over here. Not so sure how it's going to work, but we'll see. Since I don't have much tooth to work with and I have to actually work pretty quick, I'm going to add in as my bottom layer the tips of the flowers. Remember I said it was perfectly fine to go out of the lines. Create your own line. This will give it a slight illusion that you could see the pink through the wing. And as I said, I have to do a lot of scrubbing on this paper. Just to get the colors that I want. pomegranate because that's the color that I was working on, the darker color on the wing, just to give it some continuity. And this will also let the petals stand out just slightly. I would have liked to have added another layer of green up here, but my it quit on me. Whenever you're doing translucent, you just continue out the picture. 
Okay, now that I got my base of that done, I'm gonna take my canary yellow and I'm gonna work going in towards that. So all of this was yellow. It was, I added some gray and green in there. So it looks a little bit more dimensional and I will do that as the picture develops. I am coloring over the pink to give it a little bit of, uh, how do you say, uh, like a translucent feel, and when you add it, it's going to turn a little bit orange, that's okay, it works out in the end. there I go on to my orange I'm actually following the color wheel on this and that's why I'm guaranteed the colors will not blend into mud to my pink and this is just giving it a good smooth undercoat Which will give it also a purple line in between. There's something under my paper. Okay. I have some eraser shavings on my desk. You can definitely feel it through this paper. my darker blue this is the electric blue combination going down on the other wing.
Okay, so I have a nice base coat. It's We're going to add a lot more, but it's a nice base coat. Since I know that I'm, I don't have much of a tooth on this paper, I'm going to go immediately to my darkest gray, the 90% cool gray. And this is because, well, first of all, I chose the, the cool gray because there's so many cool colors, the greens, the blues. I know there's some warm colors in there, but the predominant color combination on the page is the cool blues. I'm going to use the 90% cool blue for the next... The next step after I get a nice base coat going on there is I'm going to add Posca. I'm going to almost make these lines disappear. Work slowly. I'm working with a super sharp cool gray 90 uh, next and what I'm gonna do is underneath the Posca I'm gonna add in a shadow line so we get a hint that that translucent is there and no it looks like right now I'm putting it on taking it off the line but I'm not. It gives it a different effect. Sort of gives it a hint that it's there, but it's not. And I'm also shading down some of the Posca that I had put on originally. I'm going to get rid of that top line. It was too thick. That's what's wonderful about Posca is that you can color over it. I'm working very lightly. And I'm filling in some shadow area where the triangle, you know, it makes the triangles. But very lightly.
Now I'm going to give it another second coat of color just to brighten up the colors that are on there. go back with my pasta just to Once you get what you really like, just get, tone this down. Okay, once you get the look you really like, now you're gonna add in your sparkle and your glitter. And I try to add it in in my darkest areas. So that it shows up the most. your translucent wing. I will finish this up and I will show it to you at the end. I will see you also tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye bye. See more? Hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell.